The hunter told me that I would find a nest in this area. I should come back later. It is dawn, the ideal moment. Kill the dominant fight to destroy the rest. is destroyed. The Master Hunter will be relieved to hear it, I'm sure. Basket full of berries and a trap full of fish. All of it scattered and half eaten by beasts. Our two lost souls were here together. They must have been attacked, or they wouldn't have left these behind. Let's search the area. Maybe we can find their trail. seems home to some creatures. Let's be wary. It could very well be the lair of that great Tenland the hunter spoke of.
older than the others. Judging by his clothing, he was a missionary. The two others are more recent, a man and a woman. Our missing couple, no doubt. They were dragged here and devoured alive. Oh, what a tragic fate. I cannot believe that these missionaries used such a ruse to achieve their goals. Two youths died because of them. Now you understand why some of us fight against the Rinaigse. Their words are always sweet, but all they bring is death. to the village. Their families need to be informed.
Well, on all Manawi, have you found my brother? I found him, but I'm truly sorry your brother is dead. May the earth welcome him. I felt it. How did it come to pass? He knew every stone on our lands. It couldn't have been an accident. He had a liaison with a young girl from the village. They would meet in a clearing, and they must have forgotten the hour. Night took them by surprise and attend them across their path. I found both of them in the cavern of the beast. How terrible. Why did he go to see the girl in secrecy? They could have... I must recover his body. To give it up to the earth, as is our custom. Where is it? With the body of the girl he loved, in a cavern near the clearing. But it is a dangerous place. Other Tenlands might still be roaming there. Though I did kill quite a few. I have a duty owed to my little brother. Thank you, Onol Manawi. I will not forget this. I must be leaving. Renaise! Beasts answer your calling, Onol Manawi. You are a brave hunter. The village will at last find peace once again. May the beasts answer your... The village will at... Do you have any news? Do you know where my sister is? <sighs> yes. I'm truly very sorry. Oh no. Nah. Sir Tonsidag, please do not tell me that she is dead. I found her body in the lair of the Great Tenlin, not far from the clearing. But how could she have been surprised by the beasts? She knew the danger. She went out to meet the young fisherman. The time must have flown by into the night. I'm so sorry. We found them both dead. I must bring her body back. To carry out the right. You should not go alone. I killed as many as I could, but it would be better to be prudent. I shall follow your counsel on Ol Manawi. Two deaths are enough. Thank you. Thank you. I must leave now. The nests are destroyed, and with the death of the White Tenon, the attacks should cease. And we are even able to convince the missionaries to leave. Katasak should be willing to follow us now. Let's go and find him. May the trees protect you on all Manawi. My sister may now return to the earth. I've heard stories of your exploits. Thank you for all you've done. It's unusual for us to be offered aid by Renaixe. It seems my Tiern was right. You are on Ol Manawi. How can I help? I have to go. Kwa'awelemseg. face that you were victorious indeed i put the white tenlin down who was enraging his kind and destroyed their nests the attack should no longer trouble you i also encouraged the missionaries to leave they will not return i regret that violence was necessary to make them go but i thank you all the same in the end we found the missing young ones but alas it was too late Devoured by wild beasts. Undivorced to your end. You did well on Almanawi. Now they shall be able to find the rest. 
Will you agree to accompany me now? My cousin needs your help. I have packed what is needed. I am ready to journey with you. This pain, it'll be the death of me. I can't control my body. It's like being a stranger in a marionette set ablaze. Consumed by a smoldering fire. The moment's growing near, isn't it? Am I about to surrender my ghost to the Reaper of Souls? You pop in just when you're needed, cousin, as always. Who are you? Your hand is cold as ice. Your cousin is burning. That is such a relief. Let me present Katisach, Constantine. He is the greatest healer on the island. He will help you. Please, stay. I am here for you, Rnaixe. And I will not leave until I found a way to ease your pain and suffering. Fill your mind with the patience of the ocean. I know not how much time I will need. I've never seen such a sickness. The spirits of your lands must be quite horrendous to cast down such evils upon the peoples that live there. Thank you. Neither science surgeon nor mage doctor could do a damn thing to alleviate my pain. I give you my last ounce of hope. Thank you, cousin. I don't want to imagine my plight without your intervention. My dear cousin, come closer and tell me what brings you... Uh, Constantine, is it true? Are you in great pain? This sickness is horrible, believe me. Now I understand what your mother went through. But you have not come to hear my complaints. Speak. It will give me something else to ponder. I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Constantine. Look out for yourself. Greetings, Katasak. We're dear to Matt. What can I do for you? How is my cousin doing? He's filled with dread as death approaches. Forgive him his mood swings. He's such a young boy, and he had so much desire to live. Thanks to my treatment, he suffers less. But his disease is getting worse, and I don't know what to do. It would take a power far superior to mine to break the grasp of this evil. Now that you've seen my cousin, what are your thoughts on the Malachor? It is a terrible disease. I have never seen one like it. It slowly gnaws through the people it afflicts. The eyes and legs gradually die because of the black blood. And the pain it induces is atrocious. My potions are barely enough to calm your cousin. But if you're asking if I know how to cure it, I have no idea. It's a disease coming from a world that isn't ours and which I'm not familiar with. Do you like it in you, Serene? No. Your village has smothered the earth. 
The smell of the woods has gone, and the singing of the birds is filled with anguish. I can barely feel my bond here. But don't worry. I will not leave before doing everything in my power to save your cousin. I'm looking to meet Enomil Frichtemann. I went all the way to the village council. But they did not let you speak to Glendan the Elder. Precisely. They said that only the friends of a member of the council might enter. And my word was not enough. It seems that I must be a mal to be hurt. Do not be sad, daughter of Bladnil. One day you will be as great a chief as your mother. And you too will have a seal. This seal will allow you to give voice to the friends of your clan. Those who may speak in your name. Here, friend of Wenshavier. Take my seal and go and meet Glendan. But you must convince him and no doubt pass many trials. Many monsters and traps are hidden on the path you seek to follow. Thank you, Katasach. Why are you helping me? We do not wish to lose the one who placed his life in my hands. And you have already shown me your friendship. I hope that Glendan will allow you to meet this god, cousin. Leave as soon as you can. Godspeed. Have no fear. I'll do whatever it takes. I must go. What are Willem sick? I'm happy you came to find me. Allow me to apologize once again. I should have spoken to you sooner, told you what I knew, and not betrayed your trust. Indeed you should have. As I said, I'd like to make up for it and help you find your family again. How do you intend to do that? As you now know, I knew your mother. We had trouble communicating at first, of course, but we gradually learned to understand one another. She was important in her village. Based on what I know today, I think she was a Donegad. She told me her name, Arelwyn, and told me about her family. She even gave me a pendant for you. You were only a child, so I gave it to Mrs. De Sade for safekeeping. She gave me a necklace when I went to say goodbye to her. She said it was a family heirloom. Did my mother tell you the name of her village? No. But I'm sure the Norts can help us. They were the ones who took your mother to the continent. It was such a long time ago. How can I find out if they remember? The Norts record everything down to the gentlest breeze. They must have written something in a logbook somewhere. So, do you want to try and find out where you come from? Do you want to find your relatives? Yes. All this is so new to me, but I suppose so, yes. Let's go then. <laughs>